Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. So, the problem of the week this week was a word problem which boils down to showing <clears throat> that if you take a sphere and you drill out a cylinder in the center of it, uh, as long as this height uh, stays constant, the, uh, the volume of the resulting figure is independent of the radius of the sphere. And to do this, we're going to do a little bit of geometry to sketch out the uh, solid, and then we're going to integrate to show that it doesn't depend on the radius of the sphere. So the first thing to do is think of how we're going to integrate this and the best approach is to use cylindrical coordinates, which means we're going to use, um, a, we're going to integrate theta over uh, 0 to 2 pi, and then we're going to integrate the radius of the sphere, and then we're going to integrate uh, the z component, the height component. And the first thing we're going to talk about is the integration bounds on the radius. So for the inner radius, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, theorem to show that this length right here is equal to r squared minus h over 2 squared, where h is the height of this um, cylinder. Uh, so that is the inner radius. And then the outer radius is r squared minus uh, z, where z is between h over 2 and 0. And so what we can do is we can start writing out this uh, triple integral. And so the last one we're going to do is theta, which goes from 0 to 2 pi. Then we have two more integrals. Uh, the second one, we're going to integrate over the z component, which goes from h over 2 to negative h over 2, as you can see from this diagram. And then the last one, we go from the outer or the inner radius to the outer radius. So we have root r squared minus h over 2 squared and root r squared minus c squared. And since we're using cylindrical coordinates, we have r, d, um, r, d, z, d, theta. And what I'm going to do is um, write out the steps for you, and we'll go through them after that. Okay, and so what we've done is we integrated with respect to r first, uh, and we get a one-half term, which we pull out. Uh, when we plug in, or when we do the definite integral, the r squareds cancel out, which is why this doesn't depend on the radius of the sphere. Then we keep integrating. Um, we integrate with respect to uh, z, and then we integrate with respect to theta, and we end up with pi times the height cubed over 6 is the volume of this um, area, or this volume. And since it is not dependent on the radius of the sphere, we have solved this week's problem of the week. To see more problems of the week like this, you can click right here to see our playlist. To subscribe to the Center of Math YouTube channel, you can click right here. To go to the Center of Math 
org website, you can go right here. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of your screen, which will have all of these same links. Thank you very much.